Crazy thought for the day. Every form of energy that we can use for electricity is derived. Nuclear energy, yes. But how is all energy nuclear energy? That's just ridiculous, right? Not so fast. Think about this. Wind, solar, those are based on nuclear fusion in the sun. Okay, coal, natural gas, oil. Again, the sun, just a long time ago. All right, well, what about geothermal? Well, for the most part, that's radioactive decay of the radium and uranium and thorium series in the earth, along with potassium. Well, there's a little bit of gravitational potential still left from the formation of the earth. So maybe gravitational potential energy, like tidal energy, for example, the moon running around the earth, pulling on the ocean creates tides. That's a gravitational form of energy. But then where did the earth and the moon come from? How did they get this gravitational potential energy? Uh, they didn't form in the same way that the sun formed necessarily. The sun, that's mainly hydrogen and the hydrogen that came from the big bang. What about supernova? That's pretty much it. The supernova ejected all of these new materials that made up the earth and the, and the moon. Even the heavy metals, the actinides, those come from neutron star mergers. And so when these things erupted, they spewed off this material. The neutron stars would spew off tendrils that would decay into uranium and thorium and, and those kinds of materials. And so their placement came from these nuclear processes. But there was a little bit of angular momentum in the neutron star mergers. And there was a little bit of coalescing from gravity that came from these, the, the ejecta from supernova. And so the energy from those really came from nuclear processes, except for maybe their angular momentum. And you might say, well, that still comes from some fraction of the expansion energy of the Big Bang. So there probably is a small fraction of Big Bang remnant gravitational potential energy there. But by far and large, really, all energy is nuclear energy. It's just been transformed in one way or another. So nuclear energy is pretty much all there is.